Greetings everyone, there have been so many automatic 11.11 web UI and Dreamboot extension updates. Therefore, in this video, I will show you how you can use the latest automatic 11.11 web UI and the Dreamboot extension with the latest Xformers on a RAM pod. For Dreamboot training, I am suggesting you to get at least 20GB VRAM and 30GB RAM memory. So click deploy. From here, select your template as Stable Diffusion 1.5 version. Make the temporary disk as 10 GB because we are going to do some installation. Make the persistent volume as you wish and deploy. This will be a short video. Therefore, if you want to learn more about RAM pod and how to use it with Stable Diffusion and Automatic 11.11 Web UI, I have an excellent tutorial. It is very long and it is very comprehensive. Watching this tutorial will help you significantly. Okay, after created our pod, let's go to the my pods. In here, it will be get initialized. Once the initialization is completed, we will see connect button here. Okay, connect button appeared. Let's connect. Connect to Jupyter Lab. Okay, let's begin with updating our stable diffusion web UI. Enter inside your stable diffusion web UI folder. Click terminal. Your terminal will start in this folder. Then type git pull. This will update it to latest version. Then we are going to update relauncher.py, double click it, it will be opened like this. It is constantly trying to relaunch, therefore we will change the behavior and smaller than 1, click save with Control S, it is saved. Then we will install the Dreamboot extension manually. To do that, copy the URL of the extension from this gist file. I will put this gist file link in the description, this is really important one. Copy, then inside this extensions folder, Click plus icon, click terminal. The terminal will be opened inside this folder. So therefore just type git clone, paste the URL. So the extension has been cloned here. The very important thing is that in the Unix environment, there is a problem. The problem is that the requirements versions, there is a requirements confliction happening. Therefore enter inside your Dreamboot extension folder, you will see requirements txt file open it when you double click it it will be open it then go back to your stable diffusion web ui in here you will see requirements versions txt file so you need to check each one of them and fix the conflictions for example the accelerate version of the dreamboot extension is 0.17.1 and the accelerate version of the stable diffusion web ui is 0.12 therefore we will override it with the version of the Dreamboot extension, there is also Transformers. So I will copy paste the Transformers version as well like this. And there is also one more. This is Git Python. I am also copy pasting it. Why we are doing this? Because when you are launching your web UI, it will overwrite back to the lower version and it will cause Dreamboot extension not work. Once we have done this, we will make two installation, which is the correct Torque and CUDA version and the Xformers version. Both of them are posted on our gist file the first one we are going to install is this one torque version so click plus icon open terminal you can open this terminal inside your workspace it will work because by default it is using the vnv folder virtual environment folder of the stable diffusion web ui installation and you see it is already installed by default then the second command we are going to run is installing this specific x formers for finding this, I have spent a lot of time. Actually, I have spent over six hours to figure out the correctly working Xformers version because they have removed the other Xformers wheels from the repository. So first, we will uninstall the Xformers version with pip uninstall Xformers. It will uninstall the Xformers. It will ask you to continue. Click proceed yes, and it is uninstalled. Then copy paste the command I posted on the this file it will install the latest xformers okay there is one more thing left which is installing the requirements of the dreamboot extension so go inside your extensions inside your dreamboot extension folder click plus open a near terminal you see currently my terminal is inside extensions folder type pip install dash r requirements txt as i am showing here copy it and pasted it and it will install the requirements of the Dreamboot extension. Then meanwhile, let's also download the best model for training. Go inside your models, inside stable diffusion, open a new terminal, then copy paste this line, which will download the 1.5 product CQBT file. Copy and paste it, it will download it. 
Let's also download the best wire file. To wire file go to the models, go to the wire folder, copy this link, then inside wire folder, open a new terminal, paste it and it will download it here. Okay, so the download of the wire file is completed, the download of the model is completed and the installation of the Dreamboot extension requirements has been completed. Now we will restart our pod. To do that, go to the restart pod like this. After restart has been completed, click connect, connect to Jupyter Lab. This may take a while. So when you restart or start your RAM pod, it will start an instance of web UI. We are going to terminate that web UI with this command appuser-k3000 tcp. So to do that, go to inside your stable diffusion web UI, click plus icon, open a new terminal, type it, it is kill it now. Once your existing web UI is terminated, you will see that the GPU memory used is 0%. Now we will start the web UI ourselves. To do that, you need to type python relauncher.py. This has to be called inside stable diffusion web UI folder. It will restart your web UI. You will get some warnings like this, but you can ignore them. Web UI has been started. There is no errors. Then for connecting, I am going to use connect and 3000 HTTP port. This is working a little bit faster and now everything is loaded. Let's try 1.5 Pro CQPT file. Also, currently we are using the latest version of Automatic 11.11 web UI, the latest version of the Xformers. Unfortunately, Torque version 2 is still not working on RAMPOT, therefore we are using Torque 1.13 and CUDA 11.7. But this is also working very fast. Then make a test. Car. So image has been generated. Let's go to the Dream Boot. Let's compose a model. Test. Source checkpoint. 1.5 product. Secure pretty unfreeze model. Create model. With this way, you are able to see the CMD, the command line interface of the web UI. If you don't terminate it yourself, you won't be able to see that in this screen. So this approach is best way for RAMPOS. Uh, by the way, let's also set the wire file. Go to the settings. In here, you will see stable diffusion. STYA, you see. Make it this downloaded wire file and click apply settings. It is changed. Let's go back to our dream boot. Okay, the model has been generated and it is selected. So I will make a quick demonstration for you. Let's make a new folder, train images. Let me upload my files there. I will just drag and drop them. Okay, the files are uploaded. Let's make the best settings. First click performance wizard, then concept training wizard. So the best settings I have found are like this. I'm not changing anything. By the way, these settings are set for 20 GB. So it may change based on your VRAM. So this is 1E-7. In here use Emma. I will use Lion VF16. I am not going to use Xforms, but you can use that as well. Cache latents, train UREd. This is really important. Temperature text encoder, 75%. And weight decay will be 0.1% because we are using Lion. And when you are using Lion, this is the learning rate. Okay, for quickly starting the training, let's copy the path of the train images. Paste it there. Don't forget the backslash. Copy paste it like this. And let's make it class. OHWXMAN is our instance token. Photo of Mac is our class token. Normally you would need 50, but for quick test, I will make it one. So we will see. It will generate the classification images, but using text to image tab is better for generating classification images. I am explaining that in my other videos. So then go to the saving tab generate a CQPT. We can also make this like 200 and save every 10 epoch. Then you can compare epochs. So I will save previous every one epoch to demonstrate to you. But I am usually making this zero that I am using XYZ plot checkpoint comparison. Save settings and click load settings to not get any error than train. Okay, first it will generate the classification images. Since we did set as one, it will generate 17. It is generating them right now. Oh, by the way, we have forgotten the sample image prompt. Therefore, it won't be able to generate correct images. We should have hypot here photo of OHWX man. So I will just cancel and then restart. I also have a sample data set which has 6000 images and I posted that on our Patreon page. You will see our Patreon page both in the comments and the description of this video. You can click the Patreon. 
then on our Patreon, you will see this post. Okay, you see the training has started. Now I will just cancel. Okay, then save settings, load settings. You see there is some random image because we have forgotten to set sample image prompt. And then train. This time it won't generate any more classification images because we already have them generated. Okay, you see I have an error this time. Out of memory error. I think this is because of memory leakage. So therefore I will restart pod and start again. Okay, after restart it started training and it is using 18.1 GB VRAM currently. We are not using gradient checkpointing. When you enable it, it will also reduce VRAM usage. And the first sample is also generated very well. Okay, after just 20 epochs, I am able to get very resembling images. And as the training continues, it will get better. However, I have noticed that I used the rare token incorrectly. So be careful with that. Whatever the rare token you teach, you need to use that. Both in the sample images and both in the text to image tab so dreamboot extension currently working very well and very fast and the stable diffusion and the web ui working very well and very fast on the ram pod with this methodology i just have shown in this video if you have enjoyed this video please like subscribe join our channel if you join us and support us i would appreciate it very much please also become a patron of us and support me i would appreciate it very much and it is also helping me tremendously I have so many good tutorials about stable diffusion. You can watch all of them and learn many stuffs and they will help you tremendously. Hopefully see you in another awesome video. And I am planning a very advanced tutorial for how to install and use automatic 11.11 web UI on a PC with the latest settings, latest configuration, latest libraries. Hopefully see you later.